Ethan. Hi. I'm nurse practitioner Juliet. I'm going to be doing an exam today on you. I heard your birthday's this month. Yeah. How old are you going to be? Nine. I'm so Nine. excited. Nine years old. You're getting really big. So it's important to have regular checks up, checkups every year and find out how well you're doing, how much you're growing. I'm going to do some things that might be a little ticklish. I might touch you with my stethoscope that's a little chilly. If anything hurts, make sure you let me know, okay? Okay. Okay. So what I want to start with is washing my hands. Do you wash your hands before you eat? Yeah. All right. Well, not much. Not much? That's really only if I get home from the park. I don't know why, I just know. But you wash your hands when you have to go to the bathroom. That's a very important thing oh, to do. Oh, and when you take a shower, you wash your hands to wash your hands. Yeah, that's important too. Well, it's always good to wash your hands before you eat, but I'm really glad to hear that you wash your hands before you take a shower. I'm going to listen to you a little bit. Let's put my clipboard here. Do you see a stethoscope? Yeah. All right, I have a grown-up side, and I have a kid's side. I do not know what, why you have to do that. Grown-up side and kid's side. Maybe because grown-ups are bigger than kids? <laughs> okay, so let me let me go ahead and I'm going to have you put your legs down. You can bring your legs right here if you'd like to. All right, I want you to let me feel your let me feel your pulse. You did a very good job. You did a very good job. So your pulse was 75, and at your age, that's normal, 70 to 110. Do you like to play sports? Yeah. Yeah, what's I'm your favorite? Uh, my favorite is basketball, and I'm playing flag football. Those are fun <coughs> sports. I also was listening to your, or was watching your lungs and watching you breathe, and you were breathing 18 times in one minute. I do have a blood pressure cuff. For the purpose of this presentation, I'm not going to perform a blood pressure. I wouldn't perform a blood pressure standard on a nine-year-old. Also, I don't have the right size cuff. I don't own a pediatric cuff, so I would normally want to make sure that this is measured correctly. I would apply it. Let me see your arm. Thank you. This way. And then I would place my bell right here while performing the blood pressure. But again, I don't have a pediatric cuff, and it would not be indicated for this type of an exam. I'll take that back. Well, I guess it has to be over your arm. It has to be over your arm to work. That's true. I also would take a temperature right now. I would put this under your tongue. Hold that, close your lips. Okay, 97.9. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at your skin a little bit. Looking at the skin generally, I don't see any scars bruises, lesions, skin appears intact, appropriate for race. Let me see your face. All right. Okay, your face is symmetrical, which means that your ears are in the same place, your eyes are in the same place, and your cheeks are in the same place. I bet I'd look like a total freak if my face wasn't symmetrical, like... Like a Halloween costume? <laughs> yeah, but it would be real. Okay, I'm going to look at your press here. 
and see what happens when I press if it turns white and the capillary re return is uh, refill is less than three seconds. I'm going to feel a couple of areas here for some lymph nodes. Little balls that should be not able to be felt and if they are they should be small, movable, and non-tender. It would be normal at your age to feel those a little more, especially if you have a cold or allergies. Okay, go ahead. I want you to look up for me. Look all the way up. All right, look all the way down at your belly. Back, look up at me again. Okay, look over your right shoulder and over your left shoulder. Okay, now can you make a circle with your head like that? Good. Excellent range of motion of your head. Good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to look at your head again. And feel your head. It's nice and round and symmetrical. Can you show me puffing out your cheeks like this? Mm-hmm. I'm going to show your teeth. And you're puffing. Mm -hmm. And stick out your tongue. Now show me. Excellent. I'm not trying to trick you. Okay, close your eyes for me. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch you with either something sharp or with something soft. Okay. I want you to tell me where you feel it and if it's sharp or if it's soft. What did you feel? Soft here. Okay. Sharp here. Okay. Soft here. Good. Sharp here. Alright, you passed. You passed the test. <laughs> Look like I'm drawing all this you. You don't have anything on you, I promise. Sit up straight for me. Alright. Raise your sh raise your shoulders. Oh, good. They're strong. They're really strong. Alright, I have some water for you. And I want you to take a little drink of your water. I'm just going to feel your neck. Take a little drink and swallow. Good. And again. Good. That's called your fibroid. It's on the front of your neck. Can I have you stand up on the tape over here? I'd like you to tell me what letter I point at. Stand right there with your toes at the tape. Excellent. All right, so this chart is for six feet, and I've measured the tape six feet away. And can you read that first one? E. F. 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 P. T. O. C. L. P. E. T. P. O. That. E. D. F. C. Z. P. F. Can you go on this very low one? D E F P O T E C. You got it all right, 100%. High five. Even if I did get, even if I did do one of these skits, I'd still got it right. That would just be a waste of time. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have you look straight at me and I want you to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, but keep looking at my eyes. Two. All right. How about on this side? Two. One, three. Excellent. I have another thing I want to do with your eyes. I want to feel your sinuses, your frontal maxillary. Mm -hmm. All right. There's no swelling, periorbital edema. Did that hurt at all when I touched there or there? No, just... Just a tap? Okay. I'm going to, I want to look at your, the bottom part called the conjunctiva. Alright, it won't hurt, I won't touch your eyes. I just want to look. And they are white. Your sclera, open your eyes nice and wide for me. It's white. I'm going to shine a light into your eyes. You ready? Yep. Alright, keep looking straight at me. For some reason these eyes, these lights don't hurt. Well, it's not going straight, straight in your eyes. 
All right, your pupils are equal, reactive, round, reactive to light and accommodation. I'm going to have you follow my finger's hip. All right, again, keep your face pointed at my face and keep your eyes looking at my fingertip. Trying to hypnotize me like watch, watch the finger. <laughs> trying to hypnotize you. Okay, your eyes did track to all six cardinal fields of vision. I also want to take a look in your eye. I have another thing here. I'm going to take a little look inside of your eye. Can we do that? It's going to be a nice bright light. Put your hands right here. Look straight at me. That one was pretty bright, wasn't it? Yeah, I was like, okay, this is giving her understand it. Mm -hmm. So I do not own an ophthalmoscope, so I only have my otoscope. If I were to have an ophthalmoscope, I would expect to see a red light reflex, and the lens, I would expect to see the optic disc of the left eye to be on the left side, and of the right eye to be on the right side. have this. Do you ever play any music? Yeah. What do you play? I used to play piano. Mm-hmm. Well, this here is a tuning fork, and it's a perfect E. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to touch this to the top of your head and tell me, can you hear this in both ears or in just one? Both. Okay. And again, I'm going to do this. That was the lever test. This is the ready test. I want you to tell me when you stop hearing that. I can't hear it. Can you hear it again? A little bit. Alright, tell me when you stop hearing it. I can't hear it. Okay. And it would be normal to be able to hear that for 15 seconds longer through your auditory canal than through your um, than through your bone conduction. Using my otoscope, I'm going to look at your ears. Then will you just tilt your head a little bit for me? Turn my bright light on again. I'm pulling your ear back, slightly up, this in. Tell me if you feel anything that hurts. It shouldn't hurt. All right. If you see the tympanic membrane is pearly gray, shiny. The cone of light is visible. The landmarks are present. And there is just a small amount of cerumen that's normal. I'm look in your nose now. There's our patent. Terminates are visible. The nasomucosa is pink. It's intact. I want to look in your mouth now. So earlier I had you stick your tongue out and wiggle it for me. This time I want you to stick out your tongue and I'm going to push it down with this popsicle stick. Alright, can you do that for me? Open your mouth. Stick out that tongue. Stick it out. Say ah. Okay. So you have your tonsils. You never had your tonsils taken out. Mm -hmm. The uvula, that little thing that hangs down. It's midline. It's pink. I bet it would hurt this. to get them out if I had to have surgery. It probably would. It's a good thing that you have very healthy looking tonsils and they're pink. I don't see any white stuff, I don't see any spots, I don't see anything I'm concerned about. They look pink and they look normal and they're the same size on both sides 
and your throat is pink and smooth and doesn't have any bumps or any redness or anything else on there that's yucky looking. <coughs> One more thing with the ears. Mm -hmm. I can hear that. Okay. Yeah, I can hear that too. Alright, good, good. Make sure it's intact. <laughs> Alright, you want to look at your teeth again? I want to count them. Say ah. Okay. You look good. I don't see any caries. Teeth are intact. There are 25 total teeth. There are 13 on top. And there are 12 on the bottom. Do you have any loose teeth? No, right now. No? But I have an extra teeth. I have a friend at school has, who has a like two teeth in the same row, like kind of like right on top of each other, like a couple of rows. Well, your teeth are straight across. I don't see any of your teeth growing crooked. I'm gonna touch your neck a little bit. Okay. You love Adam's apple. <laughs> yep, your trachea is midline. I'm gonna listen to your neck now. Sounds good. It's very normal, very normal pulse. It's equal on both sides. I'm going to feel your pulse with my fingers, your carotid pulse. I can feel like this little bumpy thing. Where? It's like, feels like a, it's a little bump. Like it goes bump, bump? Let me feel. I feel like, like this like veins tracing down, which feel like a bump. Well, that's exactly what that is. Good job, Ethan. Okay, we're going to look at your back now. Would it be okay if you take your shirt off? Would you be okay taking your shirt off? Sure. Okay. Okay, I'll just hang it up here. Okay, would you stand up for me right here? And I want you to turn so your back is toward me. And I want you to touch your toes. All right. And I want you to slowly stand back up. A little faster. A little faster. Good. And your spine is straight. There's no curvature to your spine. Skin is intact, pink, appropriate for race. And now I want you to take a nice deep breath for me. All right. Thorax expands equally. I'm going to have you say Mickey Mouse. Can you say Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse? Mm -hmm. Say it again. Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse. Okay. Mickey Mouse. Alright, very good. I don't feel any tactile phonetus. I'm going to listen to you with my stethoscope again. This part might be a little bit chilly. Alright, I'll warm it up. Okay, take a nice deep breath in through your mouth. Alright, good. We're going to do this a few more times. Do it again. Clear bilaterally. Do it again. Good, and again. Alright, one more time. Alright, sounds really good. Can you turn toward me, Ethan? Now I'm going to listen to your heart. I'm going to listen to your heart right here. It's called the point of maximal impulse. Do you want to hear your heart? Sure. I hear it. Yeah. But there's also a lot of noise when you move it. Yeah, it's very noisy when you move it. Probably sensitive. Sensitive one, so I'm going to listen to your heart. I have five places I'm going to listen to it. Okay, first thing I want you to do is sit up straight. Put your hands down by your sides, please. All right, listen here. Okay. You 
you lay flat on your back, put your head on the pillow, and I'm going to do the same thing. Lay tummy up. Okay. And one more time, I want you to lay facing me so that you're laying on your left side. So your whole body, there you go, all the way, your whole body is up on your left side. And I'm going to rest in the same place. Sit up again, or actually lay on your back. Lay on your back again. So I hear a regular rhythm. I don't hear any murmurs. It's an S1, S2 with no murmurs. Just means that your heart's beating just like it's supposed to. All right. And I'm gonna feel right here. Relax. I feel just a little gentle thrill right here uh, with the beat of your heart. So the next thing I need to do is to look at your belly. This part sometimes maybe is a little bit ticklish. And what I want to do first is listen to your tummy in four places. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's hear if you have any food in there. Did you eat something a little bit ago? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So when I look at your tummy, it looks symmetrical bilaterally. I see no scarring. All right. All right. So, tap, tap. Yeah. Sounds different, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a little more dull over here. Kind of has a little more of an echo. Lots of echo in there. There's one bell over there. Can I have you sit up? I want to look at your back again. Alright. Feel right here. Alright. Okay. And go ahead and lay back down. Head on the pillow. Very good. So I'm not going to assess the femoral artery or the or the inguinal area, but if I were, I, this is where I would do it, right here, both sides. I'm going to find your pulses on your feet. sides. You have your heartbeat spreads all over your body, even down to your feet. And I can even feel your heartbeat all the way down to the tops of your feet. Did you know that? No. All right, I'm going to go over and take a look at your pulses. You can sit up if you'd like to. All right. Now put your pants just above your knees. And, if you'd like, you can put your shirt back on. <laughs> I won't look.
is your patellar reflex. So your joints are symmetrical, you have appropriate muscle mass for your age, and your feet are equal, symmetrical, bilaterally. You see your joints here, okay, also, and all right, I'm going to look at your capillary refill in your toes. Just like I did in your fingers, I press that nail, refill, and it's less than three seconds. That's normal. You don't have any swelling of your feet. All right, now I'm going to have, a, have you do a couple of things to show me how strong you are. All right, I want you to push against my hands, whichever way. Ready? Push your arms out. Okay, good. Now push your arms in. Good. Okay, you put your hands like this. Okay, and I want you to push my hands up. Okay, good. Now push my hands down. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep your arms. Bent at the elbow like this. All right. And push just using your hands. There you go. Very good. You're very strong. All right. So go ahead, grab my fingers and squeeze them at the same time, nice and tight. Ooh, very, very strong. All right, you put your, you lift up your knees, all right, and push down, okay, can you lift your feet, okay, now I want you to pull against my hands again, there you go, very good, very good, can you keep your legs real straight and point your toes at the ceiling. There you go. Okay, I want you to lay your head back on the pillow again. All right. Now, I want you to give me your feet and push my hands apart. There you go. And now push them together. Oh, very good, very good. Now stand up for me. Okay, are you able to bend at the waist like that? Good, how about this way? Okay. We do these stretches at PE at school all the time. Oh, good, good. You put your hands together in front. Can you put your hands together in back? Okay. Can you show me, can you make windmills with your arms? I'll step back. Can you make windmills with your arms like that? Both of them at the same time? All the way around. And back. Again. Good. Okay. Is that like the stretch you do in PE? No. The windmills we do is, um, it's this. Okay. Go ahead and lay back on your back so your tummy is up. Did you do mm -hmm. the green one? Mm hmm So I want you to bring up your left leg toward the sky. Bring just the one leg up as high as you can. All right? And your other leg. Okay, now just bring your knee, just bend your knee and bring that up, okay? Now bend your knee, bend your knee over the other side, okay, good, keep your back on the bed, okay, and this one, and round it over, okay, there you go. Now roll over so you're laying on your tummy with your back up. Okay, this one's kind of like you're swimming, okay? All right, can you lift up this leg, keep this leg straight, and lift up your foot as high as it'll go while well, keeping that leg straight. Good, now do the other one, same way. All right, very good. All right, you can sit up again. All right, Ethan, I want you to take the heel of your foot and I want you to bring it up your other leg. Can you show me that? Good, okay, switch and do it with the other foot. 
Okay, very good. Now I want you to know if you can feel vibration in your feet. So just like I did up here in your head, I'm going to do the same thing on your feet. Alright, close your eyes. And I want you to tell me when you feel me touching your foot with something that's vibrating. Feel it. Okay. Do you still feel it? No. Okay. What about now? Feel it. Okay, good. Don't feel it. Alright, very good. And your other foot. You can close your eyes. Okay, very good. And your hands. Close your eyes. In this hand. Okay, good, good. Alright, close your eyes. I'm going to do a sharp, soft test on your foot again, just like we did earlier. And I touched your face with something soft and something sharp. Okay, okay so close your eyes. And I want you to tell me if you feel something soft or if you feel something sharp. Sharp. Okay, very good. Soft. Okay, and now your other one. Soft. Okay, and then this time? Sharp. Okay, very good. Now this one's a little tricky, especially developmentally. This is maybe not the most appropriate, but I want to see if you can take your fingers and touch. Very good. Very good. Alright. Now take your hands and put them straight out to the sides. Close your eyes. And I want you to touch your fingertip to your nose without looking. Alright, and your other one. And do it again. Okay, open your eyes. Now I want you to touch your fingertip to your nose and then to me. Okay, very good. Okay, we're almost done with our exam, Ethan. I just have a couple more things I need you to do. So I want you to show me a hand, a hand clap and a toe tap. Can you do that? Go clap, tap, clap, tap. Can you show me? Alright, very good. Alright, now I want you to walk over over there to that wall. Just walk over there and walk back over to me again. Very good. One more time. I see you're walking straight. Your gait is equal. Your balance is very good. Excellent. Ethan, we're all done with our exam now. How do you feel? Good. Yay! Are you so happy that we're done? Yes, I think I was so bored. <laughs> I love your honesty. But you know what? I really appreciate your help today, and I'm glad to see that you are healthy. I want you to wash your hands after you go to potty, also before you eat. <laughs> all right. Remember to eat lots of healthy foods, good snacks, vegetables, fruits. Do you drink pop? No. No. I'm not allowed to. No. That's probably a good thing. It's better for your teeth. Get lots of exercise. Play with your brothers. Limit your video games and your screen time. It's not that you can't play at all, but just only a little bit. Is that okay? Mm -hmm, but all it's right. going to be a little hard. Yeah. So I have to do that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming to see me. I'll see you next year. And no, no shots today. Yay. Yay. All right, I'm going to go over here and wash my hands. Peace out.